Good morning. Thank you all for joining us today for the Dave Caring Project Leader webinar. My name is Alexia and I'm a volunteer engagement manager here at United Way of King County. I have my colleague Austin here with me as well. Um, I'll be presenting today and Austin will be moderating our uh, chat inbox. Um, so just feel free to throw any questions in there. I've got you all on mute for now, so if you have any questions, uh, we ask that you direct them to the chat box. Um, we will also be sending this PowerPoint to LaShonda Hurst uh, in the Give team at Microsoft to email out to you all after the presentation so you can access it as needed. Uh, so a few things we'll be covering today. Microsoft and Dave Caring background, your role as a project leader. Uh, use of the website and how you register there, some best practices and resources, Day of Caring t-shirts, uh, and some exciting new things for this year. Day of Caring, as you may know, is the biggest volunteer event in the state. It's a day to promote volunteer culture in our community, gather groups of amazing volunteers to help lend a hand to nonprofits, and really make an impact. This year's Day of Caring is September 14th, uh, and it's all about having a quality volunteer experience and making a big impact in the community. We've been doing this since 1992, when we had 1,100 volunteers go out and serve. Uh, Day of Caring has obviously grown a lot since then. Last year, we had over 13,000 volunteers, with 5,600 of them coming from Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft is a huge part of Day of Caring, and we are so grateful to all of the volunteers and project leaders who get involved in this great day. A little bit of who's who. Uh, there's a lot of players in Day of Caring, and we couldn't put on this event without our agency partners, our volunteers, and our project leaders. Uh, throughout this process, you can think of United Way as being the connector and project manager of Day of Caring. Uh, we connect Dave Caring volunteers with meaningful projects and support both the volunteers and the organizations to ensure everyone has a positive and impactful experience. We've been recruiting projects from our partner organizations uh, and we are the platform where organizations post their volunteer opportunities and volunteers can find and sign up for those opportunities that are of interest. Uh, we're here to support you in this process so if you need help signing up finding a project that meets your needs, recruiting volunteers, um, or getting just some advice on how to have an excellent day of caring, we're here for you. Your role as a project leader is very important as you'll be working closely with the agency hosting you to confirm logistics and make sure everything is ready and confirmed um, for an awesome day of caring and keeping your volunteer group in the loop about all of those necessary details as well. Like I said before, the role of a project leader uh, the, is the person who is in charge of your volunteer group. You are responsible for picking the project, registering yourself and cla claiming the spots for your group. You're also responsible for recruiting the volunteers to fill your project and making sure they sign up on United Way's volunteer site. You'll be the liaison with your host agency, communicating those details to your team and keeping everyone in the loop. Um, you'll also be in charge of picking up t-shirts for your team if your team wants United Way's Day of Caring t-shirts. Uh, and ultimately, you're the one to make sure the day runs smoothly and everyone has fun volunteering on the 14th. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to taking on this role, um, such as contributing to our community, demonstrating humility and showing that your group cares about service. It's also a great opportunity to meet new people, strengthen relationships, and display your leadership skills by engaging others in volunteering. And you get to learn about a nonprofit organization and how they're working to help our community. Uh, signing up for a project, it should look familiar. It's the same website as last year. Um, I know many of you have already been through this process, um, but we'll do a quick, quick review in case you haven't or are still exploring your options. Um, first step. Picking a project from the list, uh, reviewing the details, making sure it's going to work for your group, and then clicking the Respond as Group button. Um, from there, step two, it'll prompt you to either create a volunteer profile or log into your account. 
Uh, since it's the same website as last year, this should look a little familiar, uh, but know that you can always reach out for help. Um, once you've signed in, you'll enter your group name and a group description if you want. Click enter. Uh, and step four, you add yourself into the group um, by clicking add member, putting in your you know, name and email. Uh, and this makes you the project leader. And that can be changed later as necessary. Um, but you'll then answer a couple of questions about the company you're with, your t-shirt size, and finally, and most important, um, how many additional spots you want to claim for your project. This is where you would select an additional 19, for example, if you wanted to claim 20 spots for you and your group. Uh, note that there may be other groups or individuals volunteering on the same project unless you've reached out to us uh, and arranged for that project to be totally private for your group. Once you register, you'll get an immediate uh, automatic send email from no reply at galaxydigital.com confirming your registration. Uh, the agency hosting the project will get a similar email alerting them to your registration. And within a couple days, you will also get a detailed confirmation email from United Way, which includes the project leader packet to help you in planning for day of caring. Uh, the email from United Way will also give you the contact information for the host organization um, and confirm how many volunteer spots you've claimed. We know that some of you work with the same agency year after year, uh, which is awesome. So if there is a particular agency or project that you would like to reserve for your team, um, we ask that you get in touch with the agency and ask them to hold the project for you. Um, that just means that when they submit the project on our website, uh, they indicate to us that, you know, said contact is uh, leading a private project with them. Some of you have already done this, um, and you've already gotten then the uh, link to the private, private project sign up. Once you've claimed your project, uh, we want to make sure you're getting your team signed up. So logging into your account, um, in that top right hand corner, that little orange circle, you'll click uh, and find my groups in the drop down menu. Um, and from there you should see your day of caring uh, group that you've created. Click manage group and from there you'll be able to either add your group members manually or copy the join link uh, and send that out. An easy way to recruit uh, volunteers for your project is to copy that join link I mentioned uh, just on the previous slide and send it out um, in an email. You can also send it out um, you know, via social media if you're looking to you know, open it up to kind of your broader community. Um, the volunteers on your team do not have to necessarily be other Microsoft employees uh, if you're looking to engage other other parts of your network, um, but of course they are welcome to be. Um, when, you know, that person who you've invited clicks on the link, they'll need to either create an account or log in to see the project and respond to it, uh, and that will add them to your team. You also have the option of adding group members manually if you don't want to send out the join link. Please remember to make sure all of your teammates are signing up so that the agency knows who to expect um, and also for our liability purposes. You're expected to fill the volunteer spots that you've claimed. Um, but if it happens that you're not able to fill all of those spots, please let us know. Uh, so that we can find another group or some individuals. Um, as some incentive for getting your team registered, uh, we wanted to let you know that we'll be doing a drawing for project leaders um, who get 80% of their team registered by the 17th of August. Uh, you actually you have until the end of August to get your registrations complete. Um, 
But if you get 80% of them in by the 17th, you'll be entered to win an $100 gift certificate to John Howie's steak. Um, just reiterating again, as the group leader, be sure to communicate uh, with your volunteer groups so that everyone is in the loop, especially if anything should change closer to the day of the project. We like to share some tips just for success. Um, you know, communication really is the key as with all things. Um, so making sure that you've confirmed everything with your host organization, everything from, you know, the time frame to your lunch plans, driving and parking directions, um, who you'll be contacting day of, uh, and then relaying all that information to your group. Uh, if you're volunteering at a site where there will be other groups and you wanted to bring lunch just for your group, we do recommend coordinating this with the agency uh, so that they can arrange um, if there's a separate area for you all to gather for your lunch. Uh, we also recommend, though do not require, a site visit prior to the project. It's a great opportunity to meet the agency staff and get a sense of the project and layout. Uh, so that you can feel comfortable assisting with leading your team on the day of. Uh, again, you know, the better the communication and planning is, uh, the more smoothly your project will go on the 14th. Uh, as for the day of event checklist, uh, we recommend that the project leader arrives on site 15 minutes early uh, to review the day's agenda, finalize any last minute details with organization staff, uh, and be there to help greet your volunteers as they arrive, uh, making sure that they all sign uh, the liability waiver and communications release. Um, United Way provides that to the agencies hosting the projects um, and ask that they you know, provide that for you to sign when you arrive day of. Um, you know, also be sure to introduce participants to the organization staff and to each other if they don't already know each other. Um, and really that project leader is serving as a leader throughout the day, um, making sure everyone knows where the restroom is, you know, additional supplies, refreshments, uh, and who to go to with questions. Uh, be sure you encourage breaks, especially if you're working on an outdoor project, uh, and check in to make sure things are going smoothly, uh, while also keeping an eye out for, for safety. Uh, we encourage you to uh, have some group interaction and big picture discussion about why the work is important, um, and also take pictures and videos to share with volunteers and United Way after the event. Um, be sure to thank the organization staff for hosting the project. Leave enough time for, for cleanup and a little bit of debrief or reflection. Um, and once all of that is over, we encourage your team to log their hours on our volunteer website and attend Night Out for Caring, which we'll talk about shortly. <coughs> Excuse me. T-shirt pickup this year will be September 6th at Microsoft in building 92 in the Marvel Room. And we'll be there from 12 to 2 p.m. <coughs> uh, you should keep in mind that while we do order, you know, quite a lot of t-shirts and don't anticipate running out, they are uh, first come first served, especially as sizes go and wall supplies last. Um, it's important that you only pick up shirts for the number of registered participants that you have so that we have enough for everyone. Um, and if you can't make uh, this t-shirt pick up, there is another um, opportunity to pick up shirts at United Way. Uh, our offices here are in downtown Seattle on September 10th and 11th. And finally, of course, t-shirts are optional, so if you want to wear your own shirt, you are more than welcome to. Uh, new this year, uh, you might remember Night Out for Caring from last year, uh, but this year it is one week later 
So on September 21st, uh, we will come together at Safeco Field uh, in the evening to celebrate all the great work of Dave Caring and enjoy a party with a purpose. Uh, there'll be amazing food, drinks, fun activities, um, and as a Day of Caring volunteer, uh, you will receive a promo code for free admission to this event. Um, another reason to get all of your all of your team members registered is that we will be using those volunteer registrations to send out the promo code. Um, Again, we ask that uh, all volunteers are registered by the 31st uh, so that we have time to order the t-shirts we need um, and so that the nonprofit that you're going to be working with has time to prepare uh, to host your group. So just to reiterate some of those key dates, uh, registration opened about a week and a half ago, so we're well underway with that. Um, on August 17th, we'll do a drawing for those project leaders who have 80% of their team already registered. Uh, and we ask that all of those names do get in by the end of the month, August 31st. September 6th will be t-shirt pickup at Microsoft. Uh, and September 7th is when we'll pull all of those unfilled projects off the website. September 10th and 11th will be t-shirt pickup at United Way if you couldn't make the Microsoft pickup. Uh, and Friday, September 14th will be Day of Caring 2018, uh, followed by Night Out for Caring on the 21st. Here are just a few additional resources. Uh, every registered project leader will get that project leader packet a couple days after registering. Uh, that email that connects you to your host organization will also include a link to this packet so you have all the resources you need in one place. Um, if you have any questions, please, about Day of Caring, please feel free to email us at dayofcaring at uwkc.org. Uh, if it's a Microsoft-specific question, we ask that you email give at microsoft.com. All right. So I'll just look at a few of the questions that came in uh, off of the chat box. Um, if you need to cancel a project that you've signed up for, um, you can do that on the website. Um, and that will just open it, open it back up to general sign up. Uh, you'll just go in to your manage groups uh, section and delete the group from there. Um, if you need to increase the number of slots uh, that you've claimed for your group, send us an email. Um, we are happy to do that so long as the project is not already at capacity. If the project is at capacity, uh, we'll ask you to reach out to that agency to see if they'll be able to accommodate additional volunteers. Uh, if you've accidentally signed up for two projects but aren't seeing either one anywhere on the site, um, you do it well. We have had a little bit of confusion with folks uh, registering for their project under one email and going back to review that project with another email. Um, so that's one thing to keep keep an eye on, um, but you should be able to, via that um, My Groups and Manage Group page, see all of the projects that you've registered for um, and adjust those as need be. Uh, if you haven't gotten your leader packet, um, and it's been a couple days since you've signed up, feel free to reach out to us, but again, it's linked here, um, as well as um, in the communications that will come out from LaShonda with this, with this PowerPoint. All right.
right, I think that about covers our questions. Uh, thank you all again for joining us this morning. Uh, we really couldn't couldn't do this event without without our project leaders. So we're super excited to have you with us this year. Um, and any questions, please do feel free to reach out to dayofcaring at uwkc.org. Thank you.